So you go and do Lean On Me. And you have a, a role in that film. But then you get Juice, which you're one of the four main characters. Right. One of the four main co-stars. Right. So how did you get Juice? <laughs> Almost a miracle. Uh, There's something else uh, quite a few know. Uh, when I auditioned for Juice, yeah, we were, you know, I had done got the house in North Carolina, so we was down there. And uh, I had a, a shooting accident, basically, where I, uh, I got shot in the leg. But this was after I auditioned for Juice. Shot in the leg by who? Well, I don't know. No, no. It was somebody in the woods. Who knows? But, in North Carolina? Right. Because see, where you go to dump your trash at, it's kind of like in the woods. And everybody's down there hunting and shooting. I don't know if it's somebody that was... You know, just seeing me and decided, okay, well, we're going to pop his fat ass or what. But I never really carried beef like that. So, okay, so I, just a random like, shooting. You just shoot the leg. Right. You got shot in the leg. I got shot in the leg. Skin graft the whole nine yards. So let me let, now let me tell you the story with Juice and how I got that role. Um, I auditioned for the role. The way we audition, they mix this up. They pair us up. They have you read this role and come back and read that role, read this role. You know, I had us in groups. Uh, they then took us out for a dinner, but it was like eight of us. So they wanted to see who gelled, who clicked, how, 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 how do they work together? So what you got in juice is what happened the night at the dinner. We all four basically clicked the same way you see us in the movie. That's the way we actually clicked in real life. And I think that's why it resonated so well, uh, uh, and, and people, but when I got the call that I got the role, I had done got shot and I had a skin graft. So now I have to go, they, they called me back up there, uh, it's time to start shooting. So I come to shoot and they see me limping. Um, Neil Moritz and David Heyman, Neil Moritz is behind the whole uh, Fast and Furious uh, franchise. Mm -hmm. David Heyman is uh, behind the whole Harry Potter uh, franchise. Well, these were the two main producers of, of Juice. Uh, so when I came in, you know, Neil, you know, uh, more of the, you know, edgy, rough, roughneck, you know, uh, kind of white guy type dude. Jermaine, what the fuck's going on? Neil, what, what are you talking about? You know what I'm just fucking limp, you around here limping in there. Oh man, I was playing football, I had a football accident, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. So that flew for about five minutes after him and him and David talk. Now David come back. So Jermaine, what's going on with your leg? You know, it's like you're being interviewed by the police. They asking you the same questions and he just coming to ask you the same shit he did. I said, I was playing football, got hurt or whatever. The, the doctor said it's spring and I'll, I'll be all right in a couple of days. They fucked me up. They said, okay, cool. Let's just give your doctor a call and we just make sure everything is fine. So I'm like, fuck. So they end up calling the doctor. I don't know. I, I couldn't fish my way out of that. And I'll never forget. I was sitting in the office and David walked back in the office and said, Jermaine, what's, what's going on? Then here comes Neil. A fucking skin graft? Jermaine, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is that? What? What is it? I thought you had a football accident. Oh, no, well, let me tell you the truth, this, that, and the other. I got shot. When I said the word shot, it was like, wait a minute. You got fucking shot? And I think maybe somewhere it, it, it rained in the head. Well, he gets shot in the movie, so. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it all works for the film. <laughs> On second thought, <laughs> right? Course. So after you know they they realized it because I had staples in my like they had to you know had my shit stapled back together, and I guess once they realized it, you know what I'm saying it would, it would be all right. And I, I showed them I could walk, I could jump. I'm I'm doing all kind of shit in the office. I'm like, man, I'm, I need this. You know, I just don't want to go back to North Carolina right now because I was laying bricks and all that other type of shit down there having fun, and. um they said, all right, well, 
don't let us fucking down. You know what I mean? We don't want no shit about, oh, you can't do this and you can't perform. But they was real solid with me, man. And um, you know, I got a lot of respect for those guys, man. A lot of respect for them.